So, come on. I came over to try and bury the hatchet for Anna. What? I'm finding their uphill work, as you can no doubt see. It looked like he was going to throttle to me. This is doing neither of us any good, this dispute. He told me I had to apologise, and if I didn't, he's going to make matters worse for me. So you were threatening her? I simply want people to know the truth. This picture she's putting out of me is some kind of a ogre. I'm as easy going as the next guy, but there are limits. Things should go. You're not telling me you're starting to believe this. Eh? No! Look, mate, if your name had been dragged through Have the you not heard what I said? Fair enough. I got no quarrel with you. I'm not much of a one with her, despite what she says. So I'll uh, leave you both to it. You OK? Yeah, thank, thank God you came in when you did. You right, mate? Pat. I don't know why I bother. Well, what's happened? I've just been to try and persuade Anna. Put our differences behind us. It was hysterical. I've told you about... I know, I know. Look, you're asking for trouble going near her. Oh, that wasn't bad enough. Kevin comes in when I'm trying to calm her down. Gets the wrong end of the stick. Won't hear me out. Now he's starting to believe her lies. Oh, mate. Should have left well alone. Well, you know what she's like? We both do. I'd do yourself a favour and stay well away from her. Yeah. We can't afford any more trouble. I mean, I'm happy to let her go, but is she? No. I get you a drink or anything? No, I'll be fine now, thanks. Never seen him like that before. Well, I told you enough times what he was like. And it all goes back to that business with Owen and Gary. Yes. Well, you didn't even work for him. Why has he got it in for you? Because... Because I was with Owen and I'm Gary's mum. And there's nothing else. What more do you want, Kevin? What have you got the clothes sign on for? I, I just had to nip out. Did you get everything? Uh, just about. Many people been in. No, it's not been too bad, considering. So we're back to normal now. Ah, come in. Hiya. I just saw you inside getting out of the car. Yes, I'm just making us a quick lunch. Oh, is he upstairs? Uh, yes, he's unpacking. So, good journey? Uh, five hours. Oh. It was up at seven o'clock. <laughs> so, how was it down there? Well, um, it was okay, actually. Yeah? Uh, yeah, he, uh, a bit withdrawn the first few days and then he came out of himself. Oh, amazing what a few days away from me can do, eh? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Hi, Si. Hi, uh. Good trip? Yeah, it was okay. Did you do anything nice? I went fishing one day. All right. Oh, with Dad? Yeah, we caught a couple of herring. What, you went out to sea? In a rowing boat. <laughs> I kept it out of the way. I'm not sure I've still got my sea legs. <laughs> so did you eat them then? Yeah, they were really nice. Right. Well, it's nice to have you back in one piece. I missed you. I miss you too. So, um, are you going to come home or...? Can I stay here with Grandad for a bit? Is all right? Right. School tomorrow, though, remember? <laughs> Don't remind me. Nick, please can I have the night off tonight. Look, you said we were fully booked, and I've looked, and we've hardly any bookings. OK, uh, well, we've had some cancellations. I mean, we're about to get walk-ins, aren't we? It's my 21st. Sorry. Wish I could help. Oh, hey, look, I'll, I'll tell you what, to make up for it. Yeah? We'll have some fish and chips when we knock off. Hey, I'll get him to save us some just in case. You do know what you're letting yourself in for? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. It's that family. It's one crisis after another. Right, whereas we, we live in Sunshine Valley, don't we? Happy faces all day long. You know what I'm saying. Do you know a family without problems? All right. But when something does go wrong and you need us to rally around, how can we if we're hundreds of miles away? OK, I'll tell you what you do. You get on this thing called a train and then I pick you up from the station and you make a holiday of it, just like you used to do with Sarah when you visited her in Milan all those times. 
What if you have a relapse from that car accident? Oh, great. You had to bring that up, didn't you? What if you do? Well, then I guess Carla's drawn the short straw, isn't she? And what if she can't cope? Well, then I'll come home and you can nurse me in my little cot. Will that make you feel better? What's up with her? Uh, I was trying to find you. There's something I need to tell you. I'm selling up. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm starting afresh with Carla. Um, sorry to bring this on you. I know it's a difficult time with you and Simon, but it's all happened very quickly. So how, how come? Uh, it's a long story. I'll tell you some other time. So what's going to happen to this place? Well, uh, I need to find a buyer. Robert's asked for first refusal, but uh, there's nothing definite yet. Sorry if I didn't believe you before. If? Yeah, well, look. The reason I came round here was to try and put things right between us. I know I've been a bit hasty. So, what time did you knock off? I thought we could meet up, talk. No, it's too late. My word should have been enough. Yeah, but until I saw it for myself. You shouldn't have needed that. Look, I know I'm... Look, I'm apologising. Support with Owen, not supporting me. I'm not going through all that again with you. <sighs> Please, Anna. Look, I'm putting my hand up. I'm saying I was wrong. No, now you want me to just come running back? No. Sorry, Kev. It's too little, too late. See, there we are again. They'll let me 90k, but not 100. That's a third website to say that. We'll try another website. Oh, we're wasting our time, aren't we? Well, all we need to do is find another 10K. Well, where are we going to get that? Oh, Mum, I got an A- on my half-term project. Yeah, I bumped into her at the bus stop. She's been telling me all about it. Yeah, that's really great, love. Um, Dad. Oh, what do you want now? You only talk like that when you're after something. Well, what it is, is that Nick is selling the bistro. Really? Yeah, and Robert is interested in buying it. Ah! Well, you want me to stump up the money? No, not all of it. Jesse, forget it. Look, we've already got 90k. We just need another 10. Which, uh, aren't supposed to magic up? Well, there's that money, isn't there, from Mum's life insurance? My money. Amy's right. She will get a better return if it's invested in the business than she would in that bank account. If it's successful, yes. Well, why wouldn't it be? Well, where's your experience for a start? And have you seen how many restaurants go bankrupt in the first year? Yeah, new startups maybe, but this is an established business. Mm -hmm. What happens if you and Robert split up? Well, we won't. And we could have it written into the contract. You could get everything back. I see. The answer's no. That's fine, Ken, honestly. Listen, let it go, all right? We'll, we'll find another way. Well, that's a relief. Now I can tell you about my half-term project. Mrs. Grayling, I, I, yeah, I swear that I'll be along to do your windows this week. Yeah, of course I'm looking forward to your chocolate brownies. I've just been a bit tied up with a new taxi business, that's all. Mm -hmm. All right, well, don't say that to my wife, will you? Yeah, before Friday. OK, yeah, I'll be, I'll be there then. All right, I'll go, go. Bye-bye, bye, bye. No wonder you're keen to get back to your window cleaning round. <sighs> She's 90 flaming too. Oh. The chats with me are the only contacts she gets. I feel terrible. Not easy running two businesses. Mm. And I've got to sort out that rotor. You can see why those top executives burn out young. Yeah. Here, Ireland doesn't seem to do much, does she? Well, it is her afternoon off. I'm worried about her. Why? It's this Pat character. I swear he's pulling the wool over her eyes about what he gets up to. Well, after what Anna's told me about him, I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. That's what I said. Mm. Hey, it's nice to get a break from Sally in her political campaigning. <laughs> well, how's that going? <laughs> I've got no idea. She's talking it up how well it's going or not, I don't know. Still, as long as he's happy. Talking it up, eh? Um, street cars. No, 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 that was me talking it down. Where are you going? We don't want people knowing how well it's going, do we? Norris should try even harder. Uh, and get you one in... You don't fancy a drink or three tonight to celebrate the expansion of the Met Carve Empire, do you? Yes, as long as you're paying. Okay. And we could go for a takeaway after. Great. And you can pay for that and all. What are you doing? Making a list of friends to go clubbing with when I knock off. Clubbing? 
If you think fish and chips and an early night will do it for me on my 21st... Yeah, you're not going to get there till midnight. So? So you're going to be knackered all day tomorrow? Yeah, well, at least I'll have fun. Uh, you use the kettle yet? No. I've got that pleasure to look forward to. I can't believe you're abandoning me to him. And Aidan. Well, I figured you were a big girl now. What happened to my family and friends discount here? You'll have to make new friends, won't you? Mm. Oh, come on. You're as bad as Gail. Oh, then it must oh. be bad. <laughs> Sorry. I take it you're as thrilled as I am that they're leaving? Well, at least we can drown our sorrows. Right, let's see who's up for it. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, I, um... I got you another present. Don't tell me. Spare plug for the kettle. No. It was... Uh, uh, this. Open it. I mean, you didn't think the kettle was for real, did you? And you got the night off. What? You were in on this? A luxury spa break awaits. We chipped in. Car's picking you up at seven. So you've got one hour to get ready and packed. What? <laughs> you? You are the best boyfriend ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll still see you in an hour. Oh, worth the joke? Uh, yeah, yeah. I might not bother next year. <laughs> I said, never mind, Anna. I wouldn't have those two with a box of matches. <laughs> Eileen! You, uh, want to watch what you're doing messing with him? I didn't tell you. And you? Me? You don't know what you're meddling with. What are you talking about, Kev? I'd back off if I were you, Kev. Oh, yeah? Or else what will you do? Pin me up against the wall and threaten me, like you did with Anna this afternoon. Well? Oh, cat got your tongue. I never laid a finger on Anna. I saw you. You saw me? You think about that, Kev. When you came into the cafe, what exactly did you see? Did you see me hitting her? No, no Did but... you see me even touching her? No, but it was no. obvious. Exactly. Look, you had been, no. But did you see that? Look, why, why else would you be that close to her? Oh, I admit, I was at the end of my tether. This is the woman who smashed my van up last week, who goads me every time I try to talk to her. So shout, get angry, oh yes, today. I finally did that. But lay my hands on her or any other woman? Not my style, Kev. What exactly did you say, Kev? I saw her enough. But you just admitted he didn't lay a hand on her. You can't go flinging accusations about Kev. He's got you wrapped round his little finger. Yeah, well, while we're here, have you got any accusations against Eileen or Jason? Seems that everybody else is at fault here except you and Anna. Oh! Hey. Oh. Yeah. That woman's wrong. She's wrong in the head. I saw what she did to his van. So, if you and Anna have got any charges to bring against me, then do it through a court of law. We'll see how they stand up. Otherwise, just... Please, leave me alone. Come on. All right, mate. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> that looks a lot better than it did this morning. Yeah, and at least we've done some business, so it's not a complete washout. You get off if you like, love. Is it Kevin? I saw you'd been talking. Uh, or shall I mind my own business? No, it's all right. It's just, you know, what do you do when trust breaks down? Has he not been straight with you? More of a case of not believing me when it mattered. Well, we've all been guilty of that at some point. Yeah, though. maybe, but not when you get dumped because of it. So why did he seek you out? Because <sighs> he wants to get back with me. <laughs> then what's the problem? Part of me wants it more than anything. Oh, Cathy, I thought we had something really special. So? Just can't seem to forgive him. 
That's a hard way of looking at things. Most people are given a second chance at least once. That's not going to happen. What? Kevin and Pat Phelan? Out on the street, Tim said. Doesn't sound like Pat. Well, I want to tell you what I saw. Well, is Kevin all right? Yeah, but I suspect we've not seen the last of it. Oh, is this the punch up? It wasn't a punch up. <laughs> Very nearly, uh, and I couldn't help noticing you diving in as soon as it kicked off. What are you on about? I was getting between them. Now, I wonder what the electorate would think about your husband being so handy with his fists. Uh, it's not exactly the sort of image you've been projecting in your literature. Look, you just listen. Don't listen to him, love. He's trying to wind you up. I thought it was a quiet drink we were coming for. Yes, I mean, I'm just making an observation. Are you trying to wind me up? No, you don't need much help with that, do you? Look, go and sit down and stop making a nuisance of yourself. Suspension of hostilities while we enjoy our drink? Well, I will if Norris will. Then let me get these, Rita. Oh, that's very nice. What will it be? Uh, just the usual, shall we? Coming up. Well, thank you, Tim. Shall we? Now, Tim, mm. I spoke to Steve earlier. He wants to know how are you doing at Streetcast? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, not, not bad at all. Tell him. Oh, so you got on top of the rotor? Yeah, yeah, piece of cake. Oh. Duck to water, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's not that different from being a window cleaner. Really? Yeah, the job's not too tricky. Dealing with the general public's the hard bit. Well, indeed. <laughs> they drive you mad, but you've got to grin and bear it. Welcome to my world. You wouldn't stop that, would you, Liz? It's just a fraction under the mark. <laughs> with pleasure. Could you keep your eyes on the slot if I bob out for a minute? Any particular reason? Election fever. Could get nasty. There you go, Tim. Mm. Any argy bargy? You have my full permission to buy it. So do you still see many people from uni? Quite a few. Remember Glenn Downs? Oh. He keeps posting me on Facebook. Uh, I've got an uncle in the music business and he says... Oh, <laughs> moron! And that grandma he was always talking about. He knows where Lord Lucan is. One of only six people in England. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it's so good to see you again. Thank you. Uh, you're back early. Don't look so excited. What's happened? No, I'm just not very busy. Robert said I could go. Well, his last is our gay. You know, Nick's selling up and moving away with Carla. Is your boss? Yeah. What chance for you to muscle in around that board table? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, you, we were just about to cook. But now that you're back, you can work a bit of magic for us in the kitchen. Night off. Sorry. Is he always this difficult? I'll tell you what I could do, though. Pint him. Mm. Have a nice weekend, Ken. Uh, yes. Yes, I've been in Portsmouth with Peter and Simon for a few days. Peter, all right? Uh, very well, Rita. Thank you. So I bet you're glad you don't have a campaign to manage anymore, Ken. I take it I can still count on your vote. You're likely to switch allegiance. Well, you might if you keep on it in like this. It's all the same. I've had a long day and I've just slipped out for a quiet drink. You tell them, Ken. That's what I thought we were doing. What I don't understand is why anyone would vote for someone who was over retirement age. Like Churchill, you mean? Well, you're hardly Churchill. Yes, well, the words Angler and Merkel don't exactly spring to mind when your name pops up. If you'll excuse me. Haven't mm. I've had enough and all? Any more from you two and your bard? Uh, on Lizzie's orders. Tinned sardines on toast? Yep. This your idea of a cheap date? Didn't know I was on a date. So they mashed up with lemon juice and olive oil, mm -hmm. dash of Tabasco, toasted on one side only to absorb the juices. Mmm. Good. I'm had worse. Packed with omega-3 fatty acids. <laughs> Have you got shares in these things? Hey, he's a man who's finally found his vocation. Mm. Talking of careers, I've got an interview tomorrow. No, really, where? At the medical centre. Our medical centre? Mm. Oh, why didn't you say? Oh, they found out this afternoon. Now, uh, what are you going to be wearing? Because you can borrow something of mine if you like. That's <laughs> cousin. No, no, it's just, you know, I've had to buy a load of new stuff for meetings at work and some of it might look good on you. And not if you don't want. Actually, might not be a bad idea. You know, I really hope you get it. If it means you're going to be hanging around here more. That would be fantastic. Good night. What? Nothing. Mm. I deserve to stay before. Hey, any luck? No. 
I've been online all afternoon and nobody will lend us the full amount. But, you know, maybe we should just test the water and offer what we can afford. Now, that was a mean trick you played on staff. That <laughs> was Andy's idea, not mine. Mm. Uh, Nick, uh, I'd like to make an offer. OK. I'm literally all it is. 90 grand. Price is 100. Yeah, but you're not going to get that, though, are you? Look, 90 is all I can put together. OK, so I'll say thank you for the offer, uh, but I'll see what else comes on. Well, you, you know I can run this place, look after the staff. I'm starting a new venture, Robert. Yeah, I'm going to need all the cash I can get, aren't I? Oh, you know where I am if you change your mind. He better change his mind. Just uh, wondering when my van's going to be ready. Get someone else to fix it. Oh. Yeah, that's how you feel. I know something went on between you and Anna. Not a good idea to cross me, Kevin. I'm going to dig till I get the truth. Happy digging, Kev. Let's hope you don't discover more than you bargained for. The staff put their pride on the line when they enter an award ceremony. What could possibly go wrong in the last of the series of Benidorm next? Anton Deck hosts this year's Brit Awards. Make sure you're with us for an amazing night of music here on ITV. Wednesday from 8.